Hi, we will try to discuss what are the important points general pediatrician who takes care of the medical problems of children, what he or she should know about hyperspadias. Now, since the first point of contact for the parents, uh, whenever a child has any problem, the first point of contact is their regular pediatrician. So, most cases of hyperspadias are also first seen by pediatricians. It may be seen by the pediatrician who is attending the delivery of the child. So, many times the hyperspadias may be diagnosed at the time of birth or sometimes if it is missed, then when the parents notice that there is some abnormality of the penis, then they consult their regular pediatrician for the for opinion. So, I think whenever a pediatrician sees a child with hyperspadias, there are a few things which they must keep in mind. First thing is, hyperspadias is a purely surgical problem. So, majority of children, except for the most minor type of hyperspadias, majority of children with hyperspadias will benefit from surgical correction of the hyperspadias. The second point is the best time for surgical correction of hyperspadias is before the child goes to school, the ideal time. So, if the pediatrician sees a child with hyperspadias, then they can comfortably tell the parents that before the child goes to school, the problem, it's better if the problem is surgically corrected. The third point is whenever a pediatrician says sees a child with hyperspadias, they should also take a note of the size of the penis. They should also take a note and examine about the testis. So there are majority of hyperspadias have normal uh, children with hyperspadias have normal testis on both sides. But some children with the, the more severe forms of hyperspadias may have one or both testicles which are not descended into the scrotum. This the pediatrician has to take note. And in case there is hyperspadias with a testicle also missing from the scrotum, one or both testicles, that child should be referred early to the expert hyperspadias specialist so that that expert will be able to evaluate the child from a different point of view. Uh, some of them, may, the children may require a genetic test and a few other tests. Next point which the pediatrician has to remember that hyperspadias is not a minor operation. Hyperspadias is one of the most technically complicated operations in the entire surgical practice because there are many reasons for this. Number one, hyperspadias is a defect which involves a very sensitive part of the body that is the penis. So surgery on the penis, especially reconstructive surgery on the penis has permanent effects on the child, the family and the future of the entire family. So, it's a very important operation. Number two, hyperspadias is a very versatile defect because no two children with hyperspadias are the same. So, it may look like the same defect, but there are a lot of differences in the tissues, the development, the degree of curvature and all the other factors. So, the surgeon has to be a real expert in all types of hyperspadias repairs to even attempt a hyperspadias operation. The next thing the pediatrician has to remember is the first attempt is the best attempt. The child has to go be operated by the best surgeon available in the first attempt itself to get the best results. The next thing the pediatrician has to also remember that if the surgery fails by any chance, nothing to worry, still an expert surgeon will be able to correct these failed hyperspadias also with very good results. Another important thing which we recommend in all children with hyperspadias is to get an ultrasound of the kidneys and urinary bladder just to confirm that everything inside the, the urinary system inside is totally okay. So these are the few things which the pediatrician has to remember. And whenever they see a child with hyperspadias, this is better they take a opinion of an expert hyperspadias surgeon early than late. Thank you.